Hi, I'm Lynn Arnold. I'm Deacon for Faith in the Public Square at St. Peter's Cathedral. Have you ever belonged to a book club or wanted to? Have you ever wanted to have a book club discussion about books that could really delve down into your faith and how your faith relates to the world around you, to our community? Well, maybe we have just the book club for you. We're starting up one, and it's first, the first topic we'll discuss is Mark Laverton's The Dangerous Act of Worship, Living God's Call to Justice. Listen to this. True worship includes the glory and honour due to God, Father, Son and Spirit. It also includes the enactment of God's love and justice, mercy and kindness in the world. This is the encounter and the transformation that is worth the pearl of great price, both for our sake and for our neighbours. On the one hand, scripture indicates that worship is meant to be the tangible embodiment of God's hope in the world. Conversely, the Bible also teaches that the realities of oppression, poverty and injustice can both be a call to worship and an indictment of our failure to do so. Now, it's more than just good sounding words that Mark Laverton puts before us. He also then really drills down into the way we come at issues of faith, whether we find ourselves more concerned with the hereafter and not enough with the suffering of this world, or maybe just with the suffering of this world and not enough with the hereafter. He uses an expression at one stage that we either sleep on one side or sleep on the other side, but the probability is we may all be asleep. He actually talks about uh, the way in which we can sometimes be a bit uh, soft on how we're doing things, believing we're doing something, but not really. Many of us want to remain asleep, he says. Pastors have in part fostered this somnambulating life with preaching that avoids problems and profits, controversy and complexity. When preaching plays to the culture without substantially critiquing and engaging it, it becomes part of the problem. Sermons that only apply to the individual and to the inner life of the disciple without raising biblical questions about our public lives are also a factor. So too are worship services that offer little more than comfort food. The baked potatoes of love, the melting butter of grace, with just enough bacon and chives of outreach to ease the conscience. All this becomes a churchly anaesthetic. Ouch. Is that our churches? Well, come along and have a discussion about it. Bring your views to whatever point you want. Let's talk about this and work out what is the dangerous act of worship. Look forward to seeing you on April the 30th, 7 o'clock, here in the Cynthia Poulton Hall, just next to St. Peter's Cathedral, North Adelaide.